it's Friday the 30th, 1016, and I thought I would do a walkabout just to sort of reinspect. I started here on this end, and I'm marking my way back up, and then I still have to finish that garden there. And as I was walking, I found these bugs, and I don't know, I've always loved bugs since I was a little girl, even though I'm scared of them. <laughs> <laughs> certain bugs I am, certain bugs I'm not. You know, I've seen these bugs all the time in here, and usually I just think of them as a nuisance. But today it was like, you know, you kind of freak me out. I'm like morbidly fascinated with them. Um, I am with all bugs, but they kind of creep me out, and it's probably because I don't really know anything about them. So note to self in editing. This bug has been increasing its presence in North America for some time now. And there's not a lot of things that eat it. Funny thing is, they don't pose a threat to anything. They're just, I guess to some people, unsightly. They're, you know, they've got that, ooh, like I do sometimes with other types of bugs. I mean, honestly, it is a little creepy, but I don't think I would try to genocide it just because it's creepy and weird. We're living together. I kind of want to know, like, who and what are you? <laughs> what role do you play on this planet? Like, how vital are you? Do you know if you crush them, they give off this really weird stink? I mean, I don't know. I've not crushed one. <laughs> I wouldn't even think of it. But I guess some people do, and that's how they found out. I wonder if those are the people that never really took the time to get to know this bug. Maybe they just gave in to their fear of, ah, it's a bug. They sneak inside homes. I guess in the basement, like more than likely, that's where most bugs go. <laughs> or if you have like a crawl space, yeah, they're probably in there. I'm trying to figure out like what, yeah, what are their habits, food sources, and life cycle. So box elder bugs, also known as boxwood bugs or box elder beetles, are members of the soapberry bug family. It's also known as a stink bug. It has a Latin word. I'm going to call it Serena. Worldwide, there are 65 soapberry bug species, and the two box elder bug species, oh, they're native to North America. So they're native, and they're constantly increasing in their population because there's no real predator. North American box elder bugs prefer to feed on the juices found in the seed pods of the Acer family of trees. To most people, it's just tree, and then you've got like the evergreens and the deciduous, and then you in within the evergreens and within the deciduous, you have all these different species or families. So how interesting, this is the Acer family, which is most commonly known as maples. So maples is an Acer family tree. Good to know if you're Canadian with a red and white maple leaf on the flag. Box elder maples, of course, are their favorite. I don't know what a box elder maple is. I thought it was just like one maple tree, that's it. But apparently there's like, oh my God, now I gotta go and research trees because like how many different species of trees are there on this planet that I'm living with that I've been living with these things my whole life thinking that there's just like nature and you and me. And lo and behold, even within the species of tree, there's all these different families. Makes you rethink the whole black and white thing, right? Well, okay, so we've got box elder maples. Good to know. I know sugar maple. That's the one we like to tap for maple syrup. Using a specialized mouth part they have a mouth and a specialized mouth part. I guess that would be equivalent to you and me with a tongue, right? It's weird to think the beetles have tongues. <laughs> like, I don't know. I thought that was just like animal stuff. They pierce the seed pod and extract the juice for nourishment. Okay, so I'm in editing right now. I mean, looks like only two things of me have changed, but I really am like several days later. <laughs> In editing and that tongue sounds like a sword because it's piercing 
something with its tongue like when was the last time you pierced an apple or an orange peel with your tongue that's the the tongue is it's it's a sword yeah those little beetles they have swords that's what that instrument is or maybe like a needle it's piercing mm -hmm. poor little plant oh my god could you imagine it's like well it's really just like getting your blood drawn really that's all it is well unless it's completely sucking the blood life force out of the plant i guess then it's killing it otherwise it's just feeding right they may feed on the fruits of apple cherry peach pear and plum trees hmm. they cause a little bit of leaf distortion to or like ornamental plants other than that they don't they don't really harm it so why is this bug in my garden <laughs> that's what i want to know like, does it just like me? Should I take this personal? <laughs> what eats these? Because they, they must have some sort of role in society because they exist, like we all do. I said they were called a stink bug, right? They're rarely the top menu item for any animal. So like only bottom feeders would eat these, I guess. <laughs> these insects produced a foul tasting excretion when chewed or crushed. Okay, so somebody's clearly eaten one of these. Otherwise, how would they know? Ah, oh, what, is this the kind of food they're going to give us in the future? Wow. Still, when push comes to... Sh well, you never know. you got to ask these questions. Still, when push comes to shove, a few animals will dine on box elder bugs. So here's your competition if this becomes your only food source, right? Rodents, including mice, rats, and chipmunks, are known to eat these stinky box elder bugs. Spiders and other predaceous insects may also eat box elder bugs. So that would be things like, let's see, praying mantis, dragonflies, and maybe even yellow jackets because they get kind of carnivory at times, you know what I mean? I just can't help but wonder if like maybe chickens and ducks and birds might eat these. For farmers or homesteaders, mm. This is good to know. For farmers or homesteaders, chickens, ducks, and guinea hags. Guinea hags. <laughs> well, they are kind of like screechy and loud, right? <laughs> oh, God. Hashtag guinea hag. Because <laughs> they screech. Oh, my God. Instead of a Karen. Oh, let's make a new word up, right? Uh, apparently, Karens are just angry and yell. And I just think it's kind of cool because they, they nestle up like a community. They have an interesting relationship because I usually just see them out through the day walking one at a time but anyway that's the agenda for today is to finish this and then I still have to finish organizing my room and then I still have those five compositions to do musical compositions and I still have a lot of editing to do so I will catch you in a bit when I've got some work done mom could do that? I didn't. <laughs> I just liked this because it was red. Mm. Did I buy this at Richter's Farms? Or is this the one I gathered from the wild? I don't remember. I forgot to water this last night. It's in shock from the move. I'm 
happy that I'm filming her today. I'm kind of happy she's not my mother because in the nest I'd be starving waiting for her to prepare a meal. <laughs> like a terrible person whenever I come into the shed and I destroy some little spider's web. I'm such a home wrecker. <laughs> I don't know, it's supposed to rain today. I'm gonna see how much I can get done before it happens. Uh, well, they said it was supposed to rain yesterday too, so a bit of a nip in the air. I put a vest on. It used to be a hoodie. I ripped the hood and the sleeves off and I like it because it's got pockets and it's long. So anyway, uh, sometimes I need pockets when I'm out. It's supposed to rain. I wonder if I can get Dom to do this so that I can collect rain in these. I'm going to ask him. Mm -hmm. 